Uh, I think I in general, I actually like uh, Cologne um, as a backup center, backup guard. I, I think he would be valuable depth. Um, now, does he make the roster? I'm not sure. I honestly think the two reviews I'm doing today between Tristan Cologne and Yadne Kajust are probably two of the guys who are fighting for that last roster spot on the offensive line. So it kind of depends on what you – what you value? Do you right? Would you rather have you know that tackle depth, or would you rather have the the interior offensive lineman depth? So let's say uh, feet flat. I believe he's blocking down to the three tech. I think, yeah. Okay, so we have we have we have an RPO here, um, and you have the offensive line blo- uh, run blocking. So this is a legitimate run block from Tristan Cologne. If the, if it is a one back power to this side, what we have to what do we have to guard against? As a center blocking back, we have to maintain our positional leverage, right? So we have to stay in front of that block no matter what. Um, we don't have to worry so much about physical leverage or getting under the guy and driving him out of his spot. Now, obviously, it's nice nice to define gaps for your offense or for your for your running back if he has to cut back, but really, you just need to get in front here. Um, and with with this block from Castillo. We have a very, very flat angle. We want to, we want him, if anything, to climb and go over. Or if not, you know, it's it's not so segmented where it's one, two, but we want a pretty high angle because if he if he undercuts the block or or, or if he shoots underneath and try, uh, yeah, shoot shot. Uh, if he tries to shoot underneath, he's not going to be able to necessarily get there. So if anything, again, take it high, um, over flat. He takes it very, very flat. We see him plant off that initial step and then his feet kind of not come with him into the block. So we don't have his feet with him completely into the block. We have him um, leaning. We have a very flat angle. We have his hands relatively low and wide. Gets uh, gets arm overed by, by Hayward and he would be right there for the tackle. Now, yes, the result of the play is not a stuff allowed by Castillo or, or Colon or whatever you want to call him. Um, but the process was not good. If, that, if, if he was meaning to run block there, which he was, Got to take your feet with you. Got to take a, a higher angle there. You got to get hands on quicker instead of allowing him to splash you with none of your hands even close to making contact with him. Um, so not a good play to start the review for for Cologne. Um, but overall, again, it, it, trust me, it gets it gets better. It definitely gets better because I actually like him for a backup offensive lineman. Uh, Cologne overlap, patient hand center. Okay, let's see. So obviously, the, you have the center through the right tackle. Um, you know, shuffle in their gap protection to to their right. Uh, you have Tristan Cologne who gets out of his stance, initially goes to engage, but sees 94 widening. So now he's going to use an overlap technique with his right guard. What is he letting his right guard know? Hey, you know, I got your I got your left side. Um, if you need to free up to assist on 95, go ahead and do so. Obviously, if not, then we can just double team on this block. But the overlap technique lets that guard know that he's there because the guard doesn't know if there was some maneuvering in the front or some type of blitz. And, and then Castillo saw something else, took some eye candy, you know, went the other way, he's engaged. So that overlap technique lets him know, okay, I'm here. Uh, Cologne Castillo does the overlap. Then he gets good hand placement, left arm, nice tight elbow angle, um, nice base, nice wide base, working off of both of his insteps with a tight elbow angle, lifting underneath Um um, or, or lifting into the chest of the offensive lineman, keeps that attached, keeps that attached. Now it gets uh clubbed or, or or it gets it gets chopped down, which makes him lose balance. The only thing with this that, that I want to see is ideally he closes a little bit more ground. He, he's he's leaning a little bit here, so if he could get those feet closer and tighter to 94, it would be a little bit better, but that's being super nitpicky. Um, that's why he he does lose balance as that, as it gets chopped because a lot of his pressure is leaning to that arm. As soon as that arm is defeated, now he's going to obviously be off balance. If he had better feet and they were more under him, he would react a little bit better to, to the chop of that arm, but relatively um, it's still, it's still a good play um, by, by Colon Castillo. So overlap, getting hand placement, nice and, it's it's very very good the hand placement he has his feet under him here then as soon as he starts to to uh as as that off or as the defensive lineman drops his weight and gets his feet under him that's when he starts to to reach a little bit for that contact you know so you want to refit that you want to refit the feet uh, Cologne active eyes active uh yeah active eyes hands pop okay sixty three the center and. and 
Okay, so we, so we have we have a shuffle in his in, in in his gap protection to to his right. As he shuffles to his right, obviously you have the the one tech who is who is widening, so he's not going to reach for contact there. So he's going to check he's going to check the backside, see if there's a bunch, if there's any movement. He can if he can pick anything up, uh, else up there. He sees some movement, throws a check hand out there, throws that check hand out there. I'm, I can't tell exactly where or if it makes contact with that defensive lineman, but the hand is at least out there. Um, while also evaluating the side he was initially moving to. Contact escapes him. Contact leaves, doesn't feel anything here now. Again, I can't tell exactly how long his hand is on because of the blocked view, but defensive lineman leaves. He's already looking to 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 assist his right guard. Sees an opportunity to um, drop the hammer. Loads up, drops the hammer a little bit, creates some pop. Good play. You know, rel- relatively simple, but we we like we like the patience. We like the the fact that he knows that with the uh with that one tech widening that he doesn't want to chase that block. Good job getting his eyes to the to the uh to assist his left guard now instead of his right guard. Stays attached to the to the left guard. Picks up the hammer, hammer versus plow doesn't really matter so much. It really doesn't matter in general. I don't think it's a really big difference, but. Uh, clone grip, leg drive effort. Okay, again the center, sixty three. Right, not not an easy play right here for a for a, and here when you have such quick contact, like centers are such a just disadvantage because obviously his 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 hand has to go between his legs and snap the ball. So you had a disadvantage in terms of your hands being late and your hands being low. So with an uber aggressive linebacker over top of him and splashing him immediately, there's really not much he could do there in terms of getting his hands up quickly. Um they're they're a little they they come from a little bit wide, but with that, like at the end of the day, yes, you don't want to get splashed, especially by a bigger defensive lineman because they're gonna control your trust and get walked back. But with with linebackers, obviously he's going to be stronger than a linebacker. So just getting two hands for like containment on linebackers is good enough um, in this, especially in this in this scenario. So comes off the ball again, gets splashed. But with that being said, good leverage, working off of insteps, good base. He gets his he gets his hands um, attached to the to the defensive lineman. Good grip strength to maintain his 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 grip on the on the shoulder pads. He trips right here. I, I don't, it looks like he probably steps. There's he steps on the the, the right foot of him, and the, the right guard get twisted up a little bit here. So he loses a little bit of balance, but maintains his grip. Drives the the linebacker best he can. Drive the linebacker best he can. Bolt him, right? Even off balance, and yes, the linebacker probably tripped, but it's a good play. It's a good play to absorb that contact the best he could. He barely he he barely walked got walked back two steps. Um, again. Hell of pressure off the off the insteps of his feet, but good job getting them out there. You, we, we can see with that left foot, he takes an immediate anchor or, or a brace step. I want to call it a brace step, but that's to absorb the contact. Again, gets the hands nice and night or as tight as he can, latches on, drives him to the turf. It's a good play. You know, we like the effort. We 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 like the leg drive from from him there. Um. Uh, uh, Cologne under commit, need outside, uh, hit allowed. All right, center, All right. Just slightly, you know, second late here with the with the recording, but we're still fine. Okay, so this is this is one where you want to you you want to see him commit more to this block, right? So, uh, looks looks like you have, um, a, a three jet where these three are going to. They're 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 in their gap protection to their right. These guys in their gap protection to their left. Running back reads inside out here, and Cologne um, shuffles. He he initially shuffles with ninety four, shoots his hand. But with that being said, at this point, just or just in general, he's pretty squared up to the to this to this defensive lineman. I want to see him fully commit to this block. It's it's a good it's a good job by him landing the left arm, landing the left arm into the chest. But we have to get completely attached because as soon as we punch with that left arm that's inside, and and you're gonna carry and you're gonna carry out that left arm, your hips are naturally going to open up because one arm is longer than two, and if you're trying to reach for contact, that hip's gonna open up. So where are you very susceptible to now the inside? So if these this, this defensive lineman puts on the brakes, clubs you, arm overs you, 
you know, humps you, then you're really susceptible to the, to the inside. Um, so with clone, I'm okay with the, with the inside punch here, but you need to follow it up, you know, left, right. It, can, it can't be left, leave it out to drive, leave it out to the drive, then the right. It needs to be left, right. Um, because you don't want to be so weak to the inside. You want to, you want to be squared up. So we're seeing that left hand get attached. Re, he, he's, he's reaching for contact with, with that. Again, you want the, you want the right hand attached as well and your base under it. He's opening very early um, with that left hand attached. And, par and part of that's obviously he's getting clubbed, but still clubbed, not able to, to adjust. That's a big hit on the, on the quarterback. Why? Under commitment. When, when he, he needs to commit himself completely to that block. I, I get trying to assist other guys at a certain point, um, but at a certain point in the rep, take on your, your one guy. His one guy is 94. He under commits to it, allows the hit on the quarterback. Um, okay, kick out Lawson. All right, so we got Jadon Jet Crime here. Uh, and this is obviously from 2020 still, right? Or 20, yeah, 2020. Because Lawson was at the Jets, what, 21, injured himself, 22, yeah. Okay, so this is still 2020. He's the center, so he's in a pole here, I'm assuming. Yep. Okay, so he kicks out, the tackle's leading. He kicks out, tackles leading. Now, the thing, the, the only, the only thing with this is we we like the fact that he explodes into contact right here, drops his shoulder into Lawson, and is able to attach the right hand somewhere into the into the small of the back slash the ribs and drive him outside. Continues to work his feet. Continues to work his feet. Again, kicks him out. But we want to see a little bit better control here. Um, now I know he, he needs to get to that spot fast, but we can see him kind of kind of falling into that contact. I get wanting to explode through the contact, but uh, I would just watch being a little bit out of control there. Now it works because Lawson's, you know, at the spot he expects him at. But if, if Lawson were to let, let's say, you know, put on the brakes quicker, notice that block and arm over him, um, then he might he might not be able to stay attached to that. So that's the only thing I will say is a little bit off balance here um for Cologne, but still still good explosion through the contact. You have good leverage. Um, you can see the torque right there. You know, that right hand attach, he torques them to the outside. Refits the left hand, trying to work that into him as well. Drive the feet, stay attached to the block for, for at least enough time to get the running back uh, sprung free. So it's a good block. It's a, it's, it's a good pull by him, you know, uh, opening up bucket step. Again, driving Lawson to the outside. It's it's a good play. Just watch the watch being a little bit out of control into contact right there. <laughs> 